Well, good morning. Welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Today, I'm going to show you the first of the two massive auction lots. This is the smaller of the two, with some really nice items in there. If you take a look, you can see it. I bid £95 for the entire lot, the collection, uh, plus the commission. So it owes me about £115, somewhere around £110-£115. Some really unusual pieces, and we're going to take a look at it now. I've laid it out on the floor. We're going to take a little look at it, and you can see exactly what's there. And I've got a little bit of scrap as well to uh, be weighed in. Here is the group of um, items out of the box. Um, we're going to look at them all individually in just a minute. But this is them laid out just so you can see what we got. We've got a couple of oil, uh, oil burners here. we got the letter clip. we got a little bronze figure. we got a pair of brass candlesticks. The Japanese vase, another candlestick. The carriage clock, a pair of Chinese bronze vases. Um, a selection of um, Indian and Tibetan metalware. And then we had this here is probably about four or five kilos of scrap brass that's all broken or bits. Okay, so you've seen it all laid out, so we're going to have a little look at it. Um, I've got to pull £115 back. And truthfully, in my opinion, this one here will do that. Now, this is a Meiji period Japanese and enamel vase. It's, um, it's pronounced a champlive. And it really is nice. Now, the downside is you can buy some of this stuff really, really cheap, as in like 30, 40 pound of bars. But it's a substantial piece. Um, it's in good condition. It's got one or two little dents on there. Uh, one of the masks here has been pushed in a little bit there. You can see that. I may tap that back out or see if I can tap that back out. It's quite nice. It's got the masks on the side. All this beautiful uh, honeycomb work. And it's just a really decorative piece. Now, it's going to go on the website and just purely as a decorative Japanese Meiji period brass and enamel champlive, champlive vase, I'm going to be asking 100 for it. Whether I get it or not, we'll see, but I'm going to be asking 100. I think it's such a decorative piece. It really is nice. So, in my opinion, most of my money is going to be back there. You know, if you want a nice decorative oriental piece, that's really inexpensive. Next piece, it's a shame it's broken. Oh, got some damage on there. We have a really nice carriage clock. Now, it's from Swansea Goldsmiths. Now, Swansea's where myself and Steve went to car boot sale at on the weekend, up in uh, South Wales. Now, unfortunately, as I've said, the front glass is broke and the side glass is broke here. So two panels are broke of the glass and there's a chip on the glass in the door. However, in saying that, this is a beautiful quality carriage clock. No doubt it's going to need a little bit of work or service and obviously it needs the panels replaced. However, if you have a look, they're selling anywhere from £140 up to £250, or oh, that's what people are asking for them. So I think comfortably I should achieve somewhere around £70 to £80 for it. So if I ask £95, um, I should achieve somewhere around £70 to £80, and it really is a nice carriage clock. Beautiful quality. I haven't even checked to see if it runs, to be totally honest. I haven't wound up or nothing. And I'm not Sorry about that guys, uh, my phone got cut off with uh, an important phone call coming in. So that's the carriage clock, um, I should achieve around 70-75 pounds. Um, I should achieve somewhere around that for the Japanese uh, Champlive. So, shall we move on looking at the rest of the pieces. Now, I've got a pair of chamber sticks. Well, they're not so much chamber sticks because they haven't got handles, they're more just like a tabletop candlestick. Now that this one here, it's got no maker's mark at all. As you can see, it's lost its back plate. However, this one here has got his maker's mark on it. 
H&F Co. trademark. Still got his plate. So I can uh, research them. Uh, the easy place to get metalware marks is oldcopper.org. Um, I will uh, date these. They're going to be late 19th, early 20th century. No problem at all. But I'll date them. I'll find out exactly who've made them. Put them on eBay. They're going to go for 25 to 30 pounds on eBay with the name attributed to them. And they are in good condition, all bar this one lost his bottom plate. But that's neither here nor there. So they're okay. Let's, let's just say about £25 for those. Next piece we had that was in the lot is this letter clip. Now it's got a bit of age to it. Now this particular design was done, patented in 1845, uh, the Parker letter clip. Now, this isn't a 19th century one, this is a 20th century one. It's not a new one, it's not a full reproduction, uh, but at the same time, it is certainly isn't a 19th century one. However, in saying that, I've sold many of these, and I always achieve 25, 30 pounds on these letter clips. So, something to look for, nice solid brass letter clip with its uh, spring there. So, yeah, that's okay. Next we have a bronze figure. Now, I'm looking at this. The casting isn't actually too bad. If you look at her face there. However, don't think she's that old. All this verdigris all over, I think, is done intentionally with acids or something. I don't think it's an old one. I think this is a 20th century one again, late 20th century, last half. But I'm just going to list it on eBay as a bronze figure. Take some photographs and people can make their own mind up, because I could be wrong. They can make their own mind up and bid on her and I'll start her off at £12, which she's going to fly out the door with that. And could end up being about 15, 20 quid, 30 quid, you never know, depending on if people like her. I or could end up being the 12 pounds. Same with this. We have a solid bronze oil burner or oil lamp. It's got a good bit of weight and a good patina, a good colour. Now, there's just tons and tons of verdigris, 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 whatever you want to call it. The green all over it. And to be honest with you, it's too, it's just too much. It's too unnatural. So again, I think that's another reproduction-ish one, 20th century one that has been acided up. But it is a good heavy bronze one. So again, same as the bronze figure, it's gonna go on eBay with a 12 pound start, no reserve on auction. And if it goes for 12, it goes for 12. If it runs 20, 30 quid, so be it. Um, and let people make their own minds up. I'm not gonna date them, I'm just gonna put them down as a bronze oil burner. Same goes with this one, which I believe is an Indian one, I would think. A little oil lamp, oil burner again. This one's brass. This one's got a little bit of age to it, looking at it. It's missing something, possibly lids. It's got loops there for a reason. But again, I'm going to put that on eBay on a £12 start and leave it find its own place. And, well, again, if it runs, it runs. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Again, we got another candlestick. No maker's marks, no handle. So it's just a little candlestick or chamber stick here again. And again, it's not fortunes, guys. It's gonna be sort of 10, 12 pound on eBay. Not impressive. We have a pair of vases. They are bronze. They have birds all over them in high relief. And they have clouds and trees and all sorts and insects. They have this sort of Greek key, Greek key pattern coming around the top. 
and they have a Chinese six character seal mark on the base which looks to be a Ming mark I'll have to look it up so that's the first I think they're more or less identical. I'll put some photographs in anyway uh, when I'm finished talking about these at the end. Now I'm under no illusions that they're old. Um, I think they're 20th century again. Probably last half of the 20th century. However, it's a pair of bronze vases that look the part. Just on decorative merits alone, uh, being that they're bronze, 20th century, they still got to be sort of £75 for the pay. So I'm really pleased with them. I'm going to do a bit of research on them, check out the marks, check them out tidy. But I think, yeah, last half of the 20th century in my opinion, but still a very decorative pair of vases. And certainly got to be worth £30, £40 a vase just as a decorative piece. So where we are, we look in, 70 for the clock, 70 for the vase, let's say 70 for these, that's 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280. We're at close to a 300 pound return. And then I've got this selection of copper and brass, little color there. This is what I meant by missing a lid. Look, the loops were there, but no lid. So, and you have this little copper and brass teapot. Looks Tibetan area. Nice with the uh, dragon coming up and swallowing the uh, handle. And then we have a little engraved Indian brass vase. And again, another sort of copper pot. Now, none of these are going to be worth much. I'm probably gonna either chuck them in the corner of the shop, you know, five, 10 pound a piece, probably 10 or a piece on them in the shop. If they don't go, I'll put them onto eBay as a job lot for 30, 40 quid. I don't see a lot of value in them, but they are decorative. So someone may come in and take a like to them and buy them. So all in all, I'm probably up well over 300, just over 300 pounds for my 115, 120 pounds. So it's a good little auction lot, and I'm happy with the Japanese Champlief. Believe it or not, I'm happy with the Chinese bronze vases, even though they're 20th century, I still think they're decorative enough to sell, and I love the carriage clock. So all in all, that's a good little auction lot there for £95 plus commission. And the best part about it is the auction house don't charge what. So they, uh, they put their buyer's premium at 15%, so there's probably about 14 or 15 pound on my 95 so yeah i think it's only about 110 pound the lot owes me all in all i think that's a good lot um if you haven't seen the video i put out previous to this um some of the auction well i'm showing some of the things i bought in the flea market and one or two auction lots including um a very early black powder percussion double barrel shotgun Go check that out. Guys, thanks.